Hello and welcome to another episode of My Time at Portia. We have a lot to get done, so let's go ahead and do it. So, we last left off with Mr. Ack and he wants us to, well, we need to get him some milk, right? And, um, I know just the place to get that, but before we do that mission, I was actually doing a little bit of mining and I found some, um, I think they're, I don't think, are they, I don't, I don't know, but I found, I found chips, right? Oh, it's raining. Oh, 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 I hate when it does that. Okay. Um, I put them in here for now. So these are the two that I found, the cooking recipe data chips. And it says a chip that can add some cooking recipe data for an AI's core systems. And it says, let's act cook this recipe. So... I was like, okay, that's interesting because it's funny how it popped up after um, At came crashing down from space. And then I just went and I noticed um, these. So this is a chip that can add some agriculture programs for an AI's core systems, activates Act's apply fertilizer function. And then this one activates Act's feed animals function. So, this has me thinking, what if Ak becomes our helper? Because you know how in the last episode I noticed that there was, what was it, the, the, it was like the home something and it said like helper stuff and then it had like that whole list of things that the helper could do. What if Ak, Mr. Ak becomes our personal helper? I think that would be amazing. <laughs> here's some milk so let's go ahead and get this but i mean it might be a far-fetched idea i might be i might be like really chasing it but i honestly think that he might become our helper like i mean he really don't have nowhere else to go unless they're finna finna assign like one of the builders to make a um What's it to to make a house for him and like a, a like a little restaurant for him or something? Oh, but you know what? At the same time, this cafe over here has been closed the whole entire time, right? Let me just make sure that it hasn't opened. Oh, I can't even get over there. Hello. What is this? A file is on the ground and you don't know whose it whose it is. Collected. A file bag. There's so there's there's so much going on in this game. Um, like I was saying though, this cafe has been closed this whole entire time. So maybe they'll make him in charge of the cafe. Yeah, cause you can't even go in this mug. Um, I don't know, but I really hope he becomes our helper, cause baby, we need help. We need help. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and head over to the civil corpse and give him poor Mr. Ack this milk and we'll see what he says. All right, we made it to civil corpse, but I just want to say those um those missions that you guys seen, I did not accept any of them. Um I wanted to do that on camera, so I have all of these <laughs> or mainly just these two cuz these were the two that I accidentally started. But yeah, I didn't I didn't start them, didn't didn't advance in them anything like that so let's go ahead and head inside i feel so bad oh yeah remington is still here okay let's get the milk oh the nectar of life chimney cricket that's some good milk you seem to be feeling better now i am thank you oh now let me see if i can find something to replace your leg a broom? What? Now, what the hell a bro Oh. But, like, still, what is that gonna do to help this- You know what? I'm not gonna question it. <laughs> Let's give this a try. <laughs> Alright now, Mr. Ack. Oh. oh. Nope, that's not gonna work. I don't know why we thought that was. It's literally- <sighs> Why are we acting dumb? Why are we acting dumb? We are we supposed to be a good builder and we gave this man a broom? Girl, stop playing. <laughs> Let's give this a try. Oh my god. <laughs> I 
I'm like, why would we... Why are we injuring... Nope, not going to work. Is that a catfish? <laughs> oh my god. I wish I could zoom in. Y'all, that is a catfish. LOL. I can't. Okay, where'd a plunger be? Oh, it's up there. Okay. That's dead. I don't know how... That's dead? I... Okay. Um, it's been a long day. And I can actually say that this time because it has. <laughs> Let's give this a try. A plunger? Isn't he just gonna get stuck to the floor? I mean, it's a little... A little sticky, but... Look at my lip combo. Ooh! Diggity! Uh, that means... Perfect! Now about your head. What we gotta do? What we gotta do? The water bucket. I know where that's at. We gonna put a bucket on this poor dude's head? I just feel like we just playing with him at this point. Let's give this a try. <laughs> like, does nobody else feel that way? Because why are we putting a bucket on his head? Oh! Uh oh! Oh no! I guess we're just really stumped. We've never, we've never had to take care of a uh, of a robot before, so I guess we just don't know what to do. <laughs> oh, can I can I walk up the stairs? Can we do that? Right. Here you go, Mr. Hack. Let's give this a try. A flower pot. Oh. Yeah, we. Yikes! We're definitely just playing with him. Like at this point, we're definitely playing with him. Mr. Axe said we need to stop playing with him. Be for real. Yeah, excuse me, Remington. Why they got the bottles? They be drinking? I mean, I guess they are grown. Wish that Let's could give be this me. A try. Is anybody else 20? Because I am, and it's sad. I live a sad life. <laughs> I can't wait till I turn 21. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna hit up every club, every bar. Well, no, I'm not. Shoot a monkey to the moon. This is great. Why would you shoot a monkey? Glad to the you moon? like it. Thanks for all the help. Now I stay and await my fate. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Nah, buddy, you coming with me? You're coming with me. Talk with Gail. All right. Um, no, but I really do hope that. Either, I think he's, I honestly believe that he's either going to become our helper or he's going to be running the, that cafe. Because that cafe been closed this whole time. I'm telling y'all. I'm telling y'all. All right. Um, yeah, let's just, I feel like I'm taking the long way. Let's just, this is Gail's house. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We're going to hop over here. Y'all, Sam lives in, in the apartments. I bet y'all didn't know that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sam lives in the apartments. And she lucky I don't know where she stay for real. Because the way that she pushed me last episode... Is that his wife? Have I noticed that before? I don't know, but the way she pushed me last episode... Uh, notice I got my iron sword. Uh-huh, that's what's going to happen next time, next oh, time I see you. great. Her. Thank you. Mr. Axe certainly has an interesting personality, don't you think? Sure. Have you decided what will happen to him? Not yet. We're still deliberating on the possibilities. A decision is coming soon. I'll send it through the mail so everyone will hear it. The church and the research center are really going at it. Oh, I bet. <laughs> what do you think? As my wife used to say, Everyone deserves a chance. Yes, they do. Oh, oh, Gen oh. Okay. Let's look at our. Let's look at our. Let's look at our social. Oh yeah, I did become buddies with with Gust, so that's nice. Okay, became an associate to um to Gail. He looks snatched in this, but he don't look like that IRL. That's just crazy. All right, so we don't get no perks from him. Do we get any perks from her? Not yet. Okay. All right, then. It's crazy how we're still strangers with uh Presley. And we're still strangers with everybody else. These are a lot of people to become friends with. I'm not going to lie. That might be a far-fetched idea. I don't know about all that. Oh, Russo is the butler, by the way. I learned that the hard way. <laughs> 
Russo is indeed the butler. But Mr. Ag did have a have a, a quest for us. So we can go back and see what, what he would like. I really want to help the robot out. I hope they don't get rid of him because he, he he has potential. You know what I'm saying? He has potential. Nobody's seen it but me. All right? It, well, technically me and the research sensor. But you know what I'm saying? Like, he got potential. I'm not even saying that because he could, you know, help out on my, my plot of land. I'm saying that Toby? Why did he just kick open the door? Is he trying to make fun of the of the robot? Is that what he's doing? What? Let's see what his big forehead uh, gonna, gonna do. What he gonna do? Walk in here like he owned the place. See, I hate badass little kids, y'all. I can't. Right now, I would love to become a mother someday. Oh, he just in here training. I don't know what he hit him, but... I don't know, but I'm just like... I'm, I'm like just in a really bad ick with children right now and i can't do kids i can't do babies i can't do the crying can't do none of that but i would love to become a mom someday i would love to four five kids mm -hmm. hello mm -hmm. i have a favor to ask i've heard from one of the people here that they buried my crewmates in this city cemetery can you place some flowers on their grave for me absolutely appreciate it absolutely that's the least we can do since nobody else gonna do it. Wildflowers. But see, I might be able to get that from... Is it... Lucy? Um, who, who owned a shop? Who owns the flower shop? Um, let me see. Mission... Yeah, I think we can get that from the shop. Um, who runs it though? Y'all, I be forgetting. I don't be socializing enough. I just trying to, trying to get on the grind for real. Like, it's still open, right? It should be. Oh, is it Alice? It's Alice's shop, right? Yes. See? Mm-hmm. This. All right. Oh, and look how much money I got, y'all. Mm-hmm. Twelve thousand. No, no, I'm not broke no more. <laughs> Never broke again for real. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, let's head over to this cemetery. It should be just right around here. Mm hmm. Here we go. All right. Let's see which one is theirs. Okay. It's so this one right over here. All right. And we're going to go all the way back to Act. All right, we are here, so let's go ahead and talk to Ed. They were my dear crewmates. They really made that station hum. Thanks for doing this for me. He sounds so sad. I can't. Oh my gosh, he sounds so sad. Anyways, let's take our missions. <laughs> um, you found a package containing architectural plans. You have no idea who it belongs to. Go into town and find the owner. I mean, who else would it be besides Gus or Higgins? Well, let me say A and G and Higgins. Because there's only three in town that I know of anyways. It's just Higgins and uh, A and G Construction. So, let me see. Let me see if that, if it shows on the map. That's Emily. Um, that's Gust. We can go and ask Gus since he's right there. And if we pass Higgins, let's see if Higgins is over here. There's Gust. Um, yep, Higgins is there. Okay, let's ask Gus what first. What is it? I found this outside of town. Is it yours? This is my design mm -hmm. draft. I knew it. Albert was taken to the harbor to send it off to Atara. Did he drop it on the way? I can go give it to him. You said he was going to the port? Thanks. He's probably scratching his head trying to figure out where it went. And see, I just know my man so well. My man who's not my man, but I'm claiming he's my man because I can. You know, like... How far away is the port? Should I be... Should I be running? Or should I be teleporting? But you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just too good. Like... I'm too good. I already knew it was Gus. I didn't even have to bother with Higgins. They didn't have to bother with old boy. But we're gonna check the map real quick. 
Um, let's see. Yep, he is over here. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and head over there. And hand this over to Mr. Albert. Thank you, good sir. Oh, look at him. <laughs> oh, we kept the broom and the mop? LOL, not us taking their stuff. Oh boy, my package! I was looking everywhere for it. If I'd lost this, ooh, Gus would probably not talk to me for a season. <laughs> Thank you. Is this, some, is this package important? Oh yeah. This is Gus's design proposal for the new Commerce Guild HQ building in Atara for Victor Azula, the head of the guild. To be honest, I don't think we're going to get this project. The Vincent Design Institute is in Atara, so there's going to be a lot of competition there. Wow, that's impressive. Yeah, Gus is pretty impressive. Yes, he is. There were a lot of teams scouting him while he was studying in Atara. Still, some folks just can't understand his designs. Especially those old fools in the Design Institute. I think the day Ginger marries will be the day Gus goes for a position in the Design Institute. As long as his sister is alone, Gus will always be there. Aww. Speaking of Atara, can we go? Is that an option? Thanks to the research center, we have a new relic scanner ready for service. The scanner is able to display the basic shapes of the objects that you scan. As this is such a rare and valuable item, there is a one-time maintenance fee of 2002? 2000 are you kidding me? There's gonna be a museum? It'll be in the research center, located by the research center, center in Central Plaza. Oh my God. Wow. Okay, well, let's go. Oh, let me go get an aroma apple before we talk to Gus because you know, you know he liked them apples. <laughs> I think I need help. Um, okay. I'm just gonna put that in there because I don't know what the hell I'm supposed to be doing with that. Mm -hmm. But let's let us let us let us go do that. Oh, Albert, Albert. Nice Albert. to see you. Let's talk. For the museum, we need a mechanical crane to lift things. We haven't had the need for one in Porsche before, but I'm pretty sure we'll need one if we're to implement Gust's design for the museum. Oh, so it's Gus? Okay. I'm thinking of giving this job to you. Do you think you're up for it? Absolutely. All right. And don't worry about the rest. I've got some material commissions waiting for them. It's only Higgins that complains all the time anyway. Of course it is. I don't have a diagram for this crane, so you'll need to talk to someone at the research center about it. Sorry. That's okay, Albert. Um, for now, let's go and talk to Gus before the... Before the mission goes away. Look at Higgins, bitch. I might have to cut that out. <laughs> I just might have to cut that out. <laughs> I don't really know how much I can cuss on this mug. I'm gonna be honest, y'all. Like, am I gonna get flagged or like, what, what, what really happens? What is it? I gave Albert the package. My thanks. I heard from Albert you're a popular designer, even in Atara. That guy's got a big mouth. <laughs> um. Oh, I don't know if we should say that. He said that if you didn't waste all day following your sister- Oh, I sh definitely shouldn't say that. He said that your designs are very distinctive, but many people don't understand them. Isn't that the truth? The powers that be only care about one thing. Look at QQ. Cost. It's hard for them to understand that architecture is an art and has vitality. A good design can give life and soul to a building. Look at him getting- Oh, I've never seen him get passionate like that before. Oh my gosh. Um. You still want an umbrella? Boy. Play? Ooh, what, what are we playing? So, so. What, what we playing, Gusty Poo? Let's see what this means, because what does that mean? Play? At my workshop. <laughs> Y'all, what are we finna go play? What are we playing? What game we finna play? Let's play at the Ember Island Bridge between are we going on a date are we dating between 18 20 and, and 20 i think we just asked him on a date oh wait wait i didn't know we could do that wait 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 wait, wait. 
Oh my god, wait. Oh? Um, oh yeah, so I actually did read up on Gus's background. Gus and Ginger's background. I read a little bit of Gail's, but not too much. But yeah, their mother died and he blamed Ginger for um for her death because um while i think it's her i think their mother's name is liza if i'm not mistaken while liza was giving birth to ginger that's when she passed away unfortunately uh oh what's going on over here why is that out what is this building um anyways like i was saying so yeah she passed away sadly while um she was giving birth to ginger and so gust blamed all of or the, the entire death situation on ginger and so that's when he left to go to atara to study but then um i think something happened in atara or something like that where he had come back and he's been by ginger's side ever since which is why you see him like basically every time that ginger is able to go out that's why you always see him with her like she's never alone or by herself she's always with her brother and i find that really sweet like yeah it's a little it's a little uh a little traumatizing but he cares he cares and he it's obvious that he cares which you know i think is very sweet um but yeah i, I actually like that they put backstory to the characters so it's not just like the same thing over and over again and nobody has an interesting story to tell and speaking of well not speaking of which but that just reminded me that we actually have pieces that we can put together <laughs> we have two um pieces that we can do we can do old thermos and we can do the magic lamp which i think is very exciting um I also got a vacuum cleaner. I don't even know what that's for, <laughs> to be so honest. Um, but let's head over. I'm actually really excited to see um, to see the, the pieces being, I think it's just them being built. Not too sure about that, but you can find out. And there's actually another mission where I have to ask Portia about something. Portia. I called her Portia. <laughs> Petra where I have to ask Petra about something so they might clash I'm not really sure we'll see you're looking to build a mechanical crane for Albert sure I can get a diagram ready for that I'll need six data disks to speed up the research oh shit I've seen some in Atara and Vega 5 so I have a general idea on what to expect it will be very similar to the Bassanio lift May needs a helping hand copying her articles I knew they would clash sounds like she needs a printing press um, that shouldn't be too hard. Bring me five data disks, and I'll get started. So we need... Okay. Um, ooh. I don't like when things clash. I need to do one thing at a time. <laughs> and I, you know what? I'm, I am... You know, it's funny, because my boyfriend calls me a hypocrite all the time. And I'm always like, please stop calling me that, because, like, it irritates me. Cause I'm not a hypocrite, but I low key am because I'm telling y'all that I don't like to do multiple things at one time, but yet here I am doing multiple things at one time. Like, <sighs> you might be right, <laughs> but I will never, ever, ever admit that. And I really hope he don't watch this video because then he's gonna be like, "Oh, I told you so." And I don't want to hear that crap. I want to hear that shit, man. Anyways, um, that it is. That it is. Okay. I have a bunch. I have too too many. Too many. But I can only do one at a time. So for now, we're just gonna do We'll just do this. We'll just do that for now. And then whenever she's done with that, then we'll send it in another uh some more data disk. Let me why am I taking the long route, girl? I don't do that. We don't do that. We're gonna go on the DD. I mean, to be fair though, it is kind of hard to, to just stick with one mission, especially while you're like waiting on different things to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta wait days before you can, uh. Great work. That will really help with my research. I'll have something for you soon. That should be enough. Oh! I'll get started right away. I'll send word when I'm done. Okay, cool. I don't have to.
to to wait until she sends it but you know what i'm saying like whenever you're waiting for stuff to get to get made or for stuff to get built or for for bars to be to be barred <laughs> it's it's hard to just stick with the one thing this is not where i need to be this is where i need to be can i only can i do more than one thing yay yay <laughs> i didn't know they costed data disc i'm really close with the soldiers I didn't realize how many soldiers there were. Ooh. Okay. I mean, I don't really know what they do, but I did something. <laughs> and then it's like missions like these where you have to wait for the diagrams. You're telling me, I don't know. I don't know, man. It's just really hard to, to, to stick with one mission. Cause like I'm, I'm having to wait for things. Why am I waiting? You know what I'm saying? I gotta wait. I don't like waiting. I'm very impatient. Very. And while we're doing that... Oh, that's on a... Uh, wait, wait, wait. Okay. The construction crane is on the time limit. And this is too. So I need to get some venom for her. Venom. Okay, so fun fact. I was actually watching earlier today. Why am I taking the long way again? Y'all, I can't. I was watching um, Berlizzi play Spider-Man and um, spoilers, spoilers. If you haven't seen the Spider-Man game already, I don't know how because you know, Spider-Man is quite popular, but I was watching him play that. Um, I don't, I forget what, what episode it was, but it's the part basically where, okay, cool. It's the part basically where he finds out, um, well, not find out, but it's where Venom actually, like, becomes Venom. And... Where am I gonna put this? Oh, that didn't go with it? Maybe it... Did I had to? I think I had to. And, um... Where was I going with that? Oh! Oh, wait. I don't know where I was going with that. I just be talking, dude. And I just lose track of... Track of thought, like... Track of thought? Train of thought. Okay, wait, what does the magic lamp do? Can be placed in a museum. I mean... Okay, now I'm really upset because what? where was I going with that? Oh, I think I was just saying it as a fun fact. Yeah, I was just watching Berlizzi play Spider-Man and getting us getting the Venom samples. It just made me think of Venom. And how he actually got to play as Venom, which I thought was cool. Let there be carnage. Um, okay, we can put this mining piece back. And we can put, oh. Oh my god, they're both full. Damn. Okay. Um, we'll just put it in here then. And we'll put that back in there. Um, Venom. I need... Ten. I'm pretty sure I have one already. Oh, I have a crap ton. Well, let's go! <laughs> you know what? It must have been from all that fighting I was doing in the um, collapsed wasteland. Because the, the all those different stages that I had to... That I had to do to collect something from there. I didn't think, I thought I had like one or two, maybe. I didn't think I had 55, like, good lord. I mean, hey, makes my makes my job 10 times easier, so I'm not complaining. Hello, Miss Phyllis. Nicely done. Thank you. Now I can continue my work. Here, take these with you. Thanks, girl. You're so sweet. I don't use none of that anyways, but I probably should, huh? It would be smart. <laughs> okay. So, we just have to wait for these two. I know there's some other missions that we can get done. Um, let's check the map real quick. Emily has been asking for, for stuff for quite some time, so... I think, um... I'm also not sure what 
that is because that would be the map would be lit up these might be quests that we can do but we'll check that in later i want to uh, go to my girl emily first because i haven't i've been ignoring her i'm gonna be honest i've been ignoring her <laughs> i've just been running right past her and just not looking back so we'll go to emily she's down here let's see what she got going on y'all i love k-pop the one song that's stuck in my head is baddies by uh by ive hey i'm a baddie b -b baddie baddie hey did you get my note watering the fields can be a real hassle especially when granny's back is acting up mm -hmm. could you help me by creating an easier way to get the water absolutely great i was thinking we needed a well along with a way to pump the water out that way granny doesn't have to strain her back so much you got it don't forget, we'll need something to store the water in. I'll see what I can do. I'd check with the research center on building that well. Oh, They're the ones who helped my. the Civil Corps set up a well by the clinic. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> you gotta be joking. I'm gonna have to wait more. And you know, I'm being a big baby about all this, but literally all, all I have to do is like sleep for like two days and boom, I got the diagrams. <laughs> I also complain a lot. I'm impatient and I complain a lot because my dad complains a lot. He, you know what? It's gotten so bad during Christmas that all he all he had to do just to survive throughout the day was complain about something. Because he just needs well, it. And something to pump the water out, huh? Why did she say it Should like be that? relatively easy. Bring me five data disks and I'll get started on the oh, research. Oh, damn. I put my data disk up. Okay, that's okay. Oh. But you know what? I'm not that bad. I don't consistently look for something to complain about. If it's an, an if it's an inconvenience for me, then I'm gonna complain. Like me waiting, I'm gonna complain about it. <laughs> Cause like I said, I'm an impatient person. But like I don't look for something to complain about each and every day. Now. When it comes to my dad, though, it's a little bit of a special case because during Christmas, he decided to work extra hours. He was not forced to. I just want to I want to go ahead and put that out there. He, that man was not forced to work extra hours. He chose to work extra hours. So, you know, work. I've you know, I've had a part time job before. Like it's, it's especially during Christmas season. It gets crazy. Like. It's, it's not a fun time. I understand that. But he drives a Kia Soul. Fun fact, that was my first car that I learned how to drive in. It was the Kia Soul. I loved it. You could you could, you could whip that mug anywhere. Fit that mug anywhere. But yeah, he has a Kia Soul. And it, it's been around for some time, right? And it's died out on him just randomly. And he continued to drive it. And then he would come home to me and my mom and complain about it. But we have another car that he could drive so he would just come home to complain and still drive it and then not do anything about it you know what i'm saying like he's just looking for an excuse you have them great <laughs> it'll take a while to analyze all the data i'll contact you when we have something her queen but that's what i'm talking about like it just be he'd he be look he'd be he'd be itching itching to complain about something and i'm not like that I'm not like that and it's funny because him and my mom are like polar opposites like he's like oh my oh my god they're literally the book trope grumpy ex sunshine and yeah book book talk people book lovers y'all know what the i'm talking about grumpy ex sunshine that is my mom and dad and i don't know how they're still together because i can't do it <laughs> I can't do it. My dad is so grumpy, but my mama just like whenever she smiles, it's just a just a bright ass beam of light just just shining on you. Like I'd be like, "Why are you so happy?" Like just tone it down a little bit, but you know, that was when I was depressed. You know, mm -mm. things be a little, a little iffy when you're depressed. <laughs> if you've been there, you already know. 
But now I kind of see things from both of their perspectives. Like, oh, <gasps> oh yeah, we have a date. We have a date with Gus. Ooh, we gotta go. Oh, it's, a, it's not time yet. It's not time yet. It's at night. It's between 18, 1800 and 2000, I'm pretty sure. Oh my God, I can't believe I forgot about my date. It's crazy. Hey, builder, attach the construction crane, the printing press, and the well pump. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Thanks, hon. Thank you. Who here knows Trisha Paytas? <laughs> which one looks like it'll be less work? Probably the well, huh? Oh, but wait, which one? Oops. Which one is going faster? 26 days. Okay. Okay, we're good. We're good. Um, water well. Let's check. I'm a baddie, but ba baddie, baddie, pretty little risky baddie. That song is so addicting. I love K-pop. But I'm not like one of those, one of those K-pop girlies that are like obsessed with like photo cards and, and albums. I just like to listen to the music and watch the, uh, oh, ooh, we should probably, we should probably do that. I feel like I, I might need that for something. But yeah, I just listen to the, uh, to the music and the, and watch the, the music videos. Okay, we need bearings. I think I have some bearings. All right, y'all, we get back into it. Oh, we getting back into it. All right, took a picture. Let's see. So we need, I do need to make some steel plates, I believe. I don't have any. Um, oops. Oops, 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 oops. Where is it at? Where is it at? It's not there. I don't wanna make steel plates. Oh, with this one. <laughs> um okay we need three of those we need bronze pipes oops um okay we have just this one we need three more i'll leave that in there for now since we don't need it right now um okay three bronze pipes and two manganese steel bars okay let's check my bars oh i was on it where was it okay we can go ahead and put these down mm -hmm. and then last but not least the bearings i'm pretty sure i have if not two, then I have one. But I gotta search for it though. Hold on. Okay, so I just left the um, ANG construction and I noticed that for the crane, the crane mission, I need a level three work table and I actually have the money. Imagine that. I never expected me to say that, but I do have the money for it. Oh, Mysterious Man is back. Let's go talk to him. Hello. Hello. Well, well, I have some special and valuable wares. You're welcome to take a look. Get them while you can. Let's see what he has. Um, I don't really think I need anything in here. But it's nice to look. I like looking at his stuff. But like I was saying, and I am keeping a lookout for the time. I'm not missing my date. Trust and believe I'm not missing my date. But, um... I have enough money. I just need the old parts and the hardwood. So we gotta keep a lookout for where that's gonna be. Um, okay. Fifth, or I only need 30 hardwood, excuse me. Um, old parts, probably in here. I need 30 of these. Oh my god, no! <laughs> well, that's okay. I need to go mining anyways to get more um, copper, I believe. Oh, there go Gail and Russo. <laughs> but 
But yeah, I will go ahead and cut to whenever the water well is done. There is about 30 more minutes until our playtime. So, you already know me. I'm I'm not going to miss. I am not going to miss. And I'm not going to be late either. So, look at QQ running over there. We, we got a play day and I need to go. Okay. The crane isn't done, but forget that. I need to go. Okay. It's go time. <laughs> All right. Um... Here he is. Oh my god. Um. Let's go. I hope you've come prepared. Bevy, what are we doing? Wait, 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 what are we doing? I don't know what we're doing. How do I play? <laughs> what are we doing? I don't know what to do. Do I gotta talk to him? I don't wait, wait. I gotta look this up. Okay, okay, we gotta check the map. We gotta check the map. We gotta check the map. Okay, okay. All right, all right. I know what to do. <laughs> I know what to do. I know what to do. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, we need a doodle. We need, we need a doodle. Where, where's the doodle at? Where's the, where's the doodling? Oh my God. <laughs> I just can't mess this up, y'all. Okay, here, here we go, here we go, okay. All right. Oh my God, an hour has already passed. We only got an hour left. We only have an hour left. I can't. Gus, Gus, you, you hear Gus? Okay, look at him, he running. What? Oh, okay. I thought we were doodling, but okay. Wait, crap, what did he say? He said red and green, right? No. Oh my god. Crap! Crap! It said doodle, dude! Why are we not doodling? I can't. I'm so mad! Dude, no! There is no way! There's no way I messed this up already! Please! Oh my god, there's only 30 minutes left. I'm not gonna be able to make it. It said doodle. It said doodle. Do some doodling, did it not? Oh my god. I don't I don't know if we're gonna make it. Okay, what else can we do? Okay, right here. Right here. Oh my god, bruh. But that's 12 minutes of my time. That's 12 minutes. I don't know if we're gonna make it. Please, please, please just spare me. Please. Okay, we gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. Oh my god. Okay, he's still following. He's still following. Okay. How do you, how do we start it? How do we start it? I gotta talk to him. Dude, where is it at? Is it inside the thing? Oh my god. I have anxiety. I have anxiety. What? Oh, okay. Okay. Yes. <sighs> yes. I always like to order salty snacks. I'm not gonna mess this up, y'all. I'm taking pictures of everything. What to do next? Um, ask about work. How goes your company? You should ask Albert. I just care about the design side. I've asked him about trying to compete for some of the larger projects, but he doesn't seem to be interested. How did you decide to work with Albert? I don't remember how exactly we met, but we were both students in Atara at the time. We had this idea while in a cafe talking about other nonsense. Okay. Um... Baby, you don't got a gift for him. <gasps> oh my god. Wait, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. This meal is on me. What do you want to have? I really enjoy salty food. I come here a lot and the servings are huge, so don't order too much. Okay, salty. How do I know if it's salty? Um... Mm. 
Nah, bro, I'm looking this up too, because how am I supposed to know if it's salty? Okay, perfect. Oh my God, I love, okay. Classic spaghetti. He don't want too much, so. Okay, classic spaghetti. And we'll get vegetable. Mm hmm. What? I know you're joking. Gus? Gus is playing hard to get. Why is he doing that? Yes, absolutely. We're going to ask about work again because there's no way. <laughs> Oh, no question, Albert does. I do put all my effort into every one of my designs, though. Okay, ne next time? Next time? Looks like you're happy. Let's go. Oh, Gus! 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 Wait, wait, Gus. Wait. Please, just give me one more chance. Oh my god, I can't believe I messed that up. A talking robot, huh? I have seen some living AIs during my time in Atara. They can be quite entertaining. Oh my god, I've been caught lacking for real. We went from zero to one. From zero to one. I... <laughs> Gus, look how fast he's running away from me, y'all. I can't. He'd rather go be with his sister than be on a date with me. <sighs> I... I can't. I'm like, I should be ashamed of myself. <laughs> I should have, like, did some more research on that or something, bruh. I really messed that up. That is crazy. What else do I need? That was a pipe. Gotcha. Gotcha. All right, perfect. Now we can go and install it. Okay, right up here. I'm about to say, it should be somewhere on her plot of land. So, do they just share this space? I would assume so. I'm talking about old McDonald and Sophie and, and Emily and them. Um, show Emily. Okay. Where is Miss Girl? Emily. Okay. Let's head on over there. Oh shoot, it is Sunday, isn't it? Dang, I gotta go, <laughs> I gotta go back in this, um, and the Church of the Light, interrupting their sermon again. Sermon? Why did I say it like that? Sermon. Good Lord. All right. It's been a minute though since I've been to the Church of the Light, so. Ooh, how embarrassing. And, uh, hey, hey, Emily girl. This is wonderful. Thank you so much. Granny will be so happy. Although, do you think I could add to the request? Sure. Like what? Well, you see, if we could add some sprinklers to the fields, that would help a lot. No problem. I'm so glad. I thought you might get mad there for a second. Mad? Girl. Oh, man. But it's the tree farm. Uh, it's the tree farm quest all over again. <laughs> And I think it's 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 quite a lot to to get the uh, the sprinklers and all that, but I don't think I take fall damage. <laughs> but you know what? That's fine. We just gotta see. We just gotta see. But I think it should be easy. I'm trying to figure out why that's busted because that hasn't been busted before. You know? Oh, now I can check it. Okay, we'll come back to that. I don't want to get too distracted, but we'll come back. Um, but let's see. Water storage and the sprinklers. So let's check on the sprinklers first. Are they in here? They're not in here. They're in the work table. Okay. Um, oh, did I lie? Did I lie? Are they not here? 
I only need one more. Okay, that's fine. Okay, two more copper pipes. We can make that. No problem. And then we'll just put this in here for now. And we'll come... We're, let's see if we can make the water storage. Let's check that one. That one I know for sure is in this one. Um, do, 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 water storage. Here we go. So more copper pipes. Let me, let me see. Um, eight hardwood plank. Fifteen iron bars. Ooh, it's a little expensive. Let's see, fifteen. Okay, I'm good on the iron bars. We can go ahead and place those down. And it said wooden planks. I believe. Let's check. It's in my fucking hot bar, man. <sighs> Anyways. <laughs> Hardwood. Iron. And then. Eight copper pipes. All right, while that is glowing, glowing, oh God, while that is going, we still have enough money to upgrade um, the work table to, to, to the second, or not, not to the second, to the third level, actually, excuse me. So we can go ahead and do that. While that is going, and, do, 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 what else can we do after that? Um, okay, work table two, upgrade, confirm. It looks the same. I can't. <laughs> Let me just rotate it real quick. Okay. Her. Go me. It feels nice being rich. You know, I wonder how rich um, Gustus' family is. Because we got the mayor. We have, a, we have a mayor and an architecture. All in one in one area under one household they gotta be rich they have to i mean he's the freaking mayor of the town <laughs> like there's no there's no way okay so oh poisoned knuckles oh that does way more damage than the uh than the sword I shouldn't have gotten rid of my knuckles, but that's okay. I can get them back. Wow. I don't know about this, though. This might be a little bit hard to, to get, though. Hmm. I do need more of that. Hopefully, whenever I go into the, the wasteland, I can do that. We do have Fireside to go to, so let's go ahead and head to that. Look, look at me, Gust. Mm-hmm. We're late together. That's how I know we're meant to be lovers. <laughs> okay. Welcome, everyone. It's oh. a nice Sunday evening that we're having. I've got some wonderful news to share today. Then we'll pass out some pies. The city-state of Sandra and our city of Portia have agreed to build a road through the Eufaula Desert between our cities. <gasps> this will cut travel time by more than half. Yay! That's wonderful. Why sand rock? There's nothing there but hot sand. Toddy. Now this is a good business opportunity. Where did you get the money to fund this? Good question, my dear. The governments of both cities will fund this road together. During my time in office, we built up sufficient reserves so the funding isn't a problem. This is a part of a grand plan that I've been building over the past year to make Portia a center for commerce and travel in the free cities. I just want to note real quick, look how much taller Mint is versus Gale. Like, that's crazy. Allow me to introduce Mint. He's an engineer from Vega 5. Hello. Hello. He'll be spearheading the building of the road. The builders in Portia and Sandrock will help bring this to fruition. We'll have a meeting tomorrow to discuss how we're going to go about it. In other news, Gust has submitted a proposal 
for a hot air park around the duck pond. Ooh. Folks have been requesting this for a long time, and it's finally on my desk. I'll be securing the funding for it as soon as I can, as it fits into my overall plan for Portia. Nice. That's all for tonight, folks. Come up and get your pies, courtesy of Granny Sophie. Oh, I know it's going to be good. I already know it's going to be good. Here you go. Enjoy. Oh, look at that pie. Let's give it to Gus. Um. You already know I got to say sorry for the date, you know. Uh, Gus, I know things were a little rocky for us. It was our first date, you know, trial and error, but I just want to give you a little, a little gift just to say I appreciate you, you know, for going on the date with me, and I hope you can give me a second chance. You could do something else. I know I could be doing something else, but I want to do you. Okay, anyways. Ah. Yay. Pumpkin pie. Okay. Let's see what. Okay, five. So we just need two more and then we can complete that. For now, let's go ahead and put the data disk away. And let's put this piece away if I can. I keep doing that. Oh my god. Um. Okay, I didn't think there was any space, but it was worth a shot. Okay. Um, we can put the pipe. Do I want to do that? Or do I just want to wait? Until it's done. Um, yeah, I'll just wait till it's done. And I really don't know what's up with the OBS. We got our two pipes so let's go ahead and complete oh wow <laughs> all right um the storage yay and if we can actually go ahead and implement that just have to find where it is it might be near the well uh do, 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 do. Ooh. Oh my. So you're telling me she gonna sit there and pump water every time that she needs to... I mean... Hey. To each their own. <laughs> I just feel like that's a, that's a harder way to do things, you know? I don't know. But let's see if I actually have enough... Oh no, I don't. I need to go to the thingy to do that. Alright. Let's go ahead and head to sleep. Looks like we got some mail. Oh, we got a lot. Go to road, be having a meeting office today. Okay. Another announcement? Okay. Ooh, a lucky ch seven. Oh, look at me go. I was number two. Okay, now I want to know who was number one. What's in this lucky chest? How do I open it? Oh? Huh? A cushioned couch? Okay. Oh! Oh, I get, I get an upgrade? All right, now? I mean, I kind of like my, I kind of like my pink couches, but you know, you can never have too many couches. You know, just another sitting area. I'm gonna actually put it right here. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yep, look at that. Sitting pretty and it matches my outfit. Can't no can't nobody. That's what we do. I'm too good. Let's actually look at her stats real quick. Her. Nice. Okay. Um let's see. Twenty-eight 
24 days. We can go ahead and get started on this construction crane and come back to Emily's well because I really don't feel like going into that, uh, to the abandoned wasteland and whatever that ruin is. What is it called? Oh my god, I don't even know what it's called. It's crazy. But I don't really feel like going in that right now. So, we're not going to. <laughs> All right, let's go to the assembly station and see what we have to do. See what all we have to get. You already know me. Take a picture. Ooh, what is a hoister? Here, let's see the handbook real quick. From the work table. Okay. Cool. All right. A hoister. We need two steel plates. Which is super easy to get. Two. Yeah, we definitely need more carbon steel bars, which we do have. They're cooking, but we need more. <laughs> and we need more charcoal. It's always the freaking charcoal, dude. I feel like I run out of charcoal faster than I do anything else. Okay, we're gonna put that. How many did it say I need? Okay, anyways. Um, hoister. What else? The steel frame. I just need. Oh, I need three of those. I can only make one. I need more welding rods. Okay. Let's go over here and make, I'll just make like 30, is that a good number? 30 of the mugs, go ahead and refill that. Um, we need a pulley, I feel like I can get that from here, yes I can, I'm so smart. Alright, we need four of these. No! Oh, the carbon steel bars. It's the carbon steel bars. Okay, let's put that in here for now. Um, the steel cables. What does that require? Carbon steel bars. Okay, so I'm, I'm seeing a trend here. I'm seeing a trend here. <laughs> I just need carbon steel bars for everything. So just make more than mugs. Okay. And then, oh, an iron wooden plank. Ooh, can I make that here? No, I think it's on the civil cutter. It is. Okay, I need four of those. Can I do that? Oh, it won't let me see. That's okay. We'll come back to that one. All right, we got stuff working there. Let's actually see if we can do anything for the printing press. Let's see what we can make. Alright, you know me, we need more pulleys, I see. We need three grinding stones. Where did I get those from again? Work table. Okay. What's going on in here? Is this the meeting? There you are! Now that everyone is here, let's get down to business. First, I need to emphasize just how important this is to Portia. Once we have connected Portia to Sandrock with this new road, we will become the de facto transportation hub between Vega 5, Sandrock, and Walnut Groove. Mm. That's an envious place to be in. This here is Mint. <laughs> I've known him since he was a pup. A pup is crazy. He's one of the best engineers around and will be leading this project. Mint, if you please. Hey everyone, let me give you an outline of our objectives for the Porsche part of the project. Broadly speaking, there are two phases to this project. In phase one, we'll start the road from Sandrock as the terrain there is easier for construction. During that time, we need the builders here to complete the bridge across the Porsche River, which will connect us to the desert. Mm. When that is complete, we will move on to phase two, where we will construct a rest stop along the southern bank of the Porsche River. Okay. We're going to call this new town South Block. Oh. Not too original, I know, but it'll be a place 
where all the travelers can rest and enjoy the view of Portia. If you're from Texas, you already know what I say, what I mean when I say this, but it sounds like the ghetto. And you know the exact part of Texas that is the ghetto is. I'm gonna look it up. What's it called? Is it Oak Ridge? No, it's Oak Cliff. Oak Cliff, you already know, is is the most, it's the hood. It's the hood in Oak Cliff. That's what it sounds like. South Block sounds like Oak Cliff. <laughs> We're working with Albert of A&G Construction to build the bridge and South Block. I'll be leaving for Sandrock in a couple of days. Then Albert will be in charge of the plans here. Per Albert. Right so, I've pretty much worked with everyone in this room before. So I reckon this will be as smooth as a water troll's butt. Oh. As for the builders, I'll be posting the bridge commissions in the Commerce Guild from tomorrow. Why don't you just give me all the commissions? I can do it all! He can shut you! I keep on telling you, mate. There's more to life than just work. And that would be against guild rules anyway. <laughs> I am so looking forward to this. Good luck, everyone. You know, this is really exciting though, like... Let's head to Fireside again. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, Toddy. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I just pushed him. Okay. Oh! So that's Ak. I still think he's an alien. I mean, he did come from space, Pauly, so... I wouldn't be surprised if he is. I don't like this one bit. I don't know, what if he goes crazy? He looks so cool! <laughs> I'm not sure what to feel about this. I'm going to trust Gale on this. Welcome, everyone! So glad there are more folks joining us today than usual. Since we're all here for a singular reason, without further ado, let me introduce our newest citizen, Mr. Ack. Care for a self-introduction, Mr. Ack? Hello, I like to cook. <laughs> Cute. Thank you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, like I stated in the letter, I hope everyone can welcome Mr. Ack with open arms. Some of you might be apprehensive about having a living relic roaming in our city. I, I just hope you all give him a chance. Mr. Ack has stated uh, that he wants to work here as a chef. Mm-hmm, I knew it. Now... Mr. Lee has something more to add. The mayor and I had a long talk over the fate of this AI relic. I shared with him all of our concerns in allowing such a dangerous relic to live in our city. But the mayor was adamant that Portia and the Alliance of Free Cities were all founded by outcasts, castaways, and refugees. We cannot, in our good conscience, turn away Mr. Ack. However... We did come to an agreement that Mr. Ack will live with the civil corpse for the foreseeable future. Aww. For his own protection and ours. In time, I am hopeful that Mr. Ack will be fully incorporated into our society. Thank you, Minister. Now, if anyone has any issues with my decision, they can come and see me to talk about it. Uh-oh, he said come and see me if you have issues. He mean business. <laughs> As part of my plan to increase Porsche's profile within the free cities, I've been considering the construction of a museum for our city. Thanks to a generous donation from one of our citizens, who wishes to remain anonymous, we now have the funding to make this happen. Oh, from one of our citizens, who's that rich? I wonder who paid for this. I hope you know what you're doing, Gale. I can envision many corrupted relics on display. More work for me. Taking such a... Starting next week, A&G Construction will begin preparations for the Porsche Museum. I think it'll become a wonderful attraction for our city. Okay, yay! Let's go talk to Ak. Hey! I'm learning more and more about the world from Petra. I cannot believe how much has changed. I also haven't had any interfacing time since I've been here. It's very different. I don't have any direction. Hmm. I don't have anything for him. Well, Mr. Ack? Oh, look at the way he- I can't. That is so goofy. Why did we do that to him? He got his own apartment? Girl, 
I can't. <gasps> this is exactly what I was talking. Look, look, y'all. Look, 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 look. Look at him. He's peeking out from behind the tree. I can't. That's exactly what I was trying to tell y'all earlier. Well, we just finished installing the um, sprinkler, so now we're gonna head over to Miss Emily. Oh, Miss Emily's coming to us. I don't know how to thank you enough. With this, the crops will be watered in no time, giving us more time to spend with the animals. Yay! Ooh, 3,000. I actually have a lot. 17,000 goals isn't bad at all. Okay. Um, I am working on this. I got the commission. I have six days to complete it. Let's see how many I have. The strengthening glass might be a little bit of an issue. I'm a little bit concerned about that one. So far, I have... Oh, Lord, I only have three. <laughs> that is not good. Um, but I, I need to do, like, a crap ton of, um tree chopping because i ran out of wood somehow i don't know how it's quite that's actually like embarrassing <laughs> that i ran out of wood so i need to do some tree chopping um i do have some stuff going on there but yeah i haven't really made too much progress i'm just really oh let me make that first they're already popping the firecrackers that's crazy i find it funny how he's just there <laughs> I thought they were at least gonna like it's funny how I was wrong how both my uh my conspiracy theories were wrong magnificent job we'll install this right away and get to work heck you might even want to place one of these in the museum someday <laughs> how about that magnificent job <laughs> yay yay so fun fact you can actually buy stuff from a and G. I don't know how though. Like, I don't know how. Maybe, ooh, actually, yeah, I have no clue. Construction catalog. Oh, is it here? Oh, whoa. I never knew that, th that this was here. Whoa, I can have a piano? Wow. Okay. Whoa, a marble 20,000 goals. I mean, I had the money for it. <laughs> I ain't that stupid, though. Mm -mm, I don't know. I'm not listening to first time, baby, okay? A moving closet? Wow. Look at him, so. Boy. Don't do that. Don't look at me like that. I never knew that was there, though. It's crazy. <laughs> okay. Um, let's go ahead and put that up. I'm going I'm to sell those two items really quickly. And that'll be that. So, let's go ahead. You know what? We'll go ahead and check out that, that electrical. What's going on with the electrical stuff? Let's say how to scraps. Hello, my precious baby boy. You're so cute. Okay. We're gonna sell these. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And I'll keep that. Okay. Let's go check out that, that box. It's a little mysterious if I do say so myself. Hello, Molly. Hello, Gail. 
Hello, Lee. All right, let's check this out. Power on, dangerous, do not touch. Oh. I mean, nothing's gonna happen? Hold on, cause on the map. Oh, I guess I gotta go to the round table. That would make sense. Okay, let's head inside then. Y'all, it's only 10 o'clock and people are popping firecrackers. That's crazy. Oh, it's Django. <laughs> I wonder what type of dishes Ant can cook up. I'm gonna try dishes from the age of corruption. Okay. Hello. Like, <laughs> oh, what's this? Haha, <laughs> nice to see you again, young builder. I'm in a good mood today, so I'll tell you how to create a dish called seafood pay 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 pay. Oh God. Yeah, sure. Oh ho, a wise choice. This seafood dish can be created with the ingredients to rice, bamboo, papaya, and golden salmon. Okay, part. Hey, young one. Got a problem with our game room. The electric box outside seems to have gone kaput. You think you can fix this one up for me? Kaput? Sure, sounds easy. Old parts and a small silicon chip? That's super easy. <laughs> I can get that done right now. I'm pretty sure I have both. I should have both with all the freaking fighting that I've had to do. And mining, I better have it. Shoo. Hello, Albert. All right, I think it might be in the mining chest. Let's see. Old parts. The old parts one might be a little iffy. Um, small silicon chips. Let's check in here. Um, nope. Nope. <laughs> Nope. <laughs> okay, here we go. Small silicon chip. And what else? Old parts. Was it in there? I think it was in here. <gasps> I don't have any old parts. Shut up. Dude, I have none. Bruh. Uh, uh, I'll be right back. It is a brand new day. I have all three old parts and I have the small silicon chip. So let's go ahead and head over to the round table to give it to Django. I think Django is such a fun name and it's spelt really fun too. Hello, mint. Who is that purpled haired? Oh, it's a tourist. I don't really care too much about the tourists. <laughs> I don't care. Hello, Django. Okay. Oh, wait. Are we supposed to give it to him? Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, wait. Are, are we actually, like, going to the box and fixing it? Is, is that what's happening? I think that's what's happening. Yes. Yes, that's what's happening. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Here he go. Tis the season to be jolly. Ho, ho, ho. Thank you for fixing the electric box. Now my game room can keep on running again. Look at the way they walk. They all walk the same. That's really cute. And it's actually funny because it's December 31st. <laughs> But you're very welcome, Django. All right, we... I see that there's something going on... In here? What we got going on in here? What we got going on? Hey, Builder. You seem like a pretty social type. What do you say? Got a few moments to help out your old pal, Albert? Absolutely. Great, that's great. I knew I could count on you. So, look, here's the situation. You know Gust, right? Tall yeah. guy, long hair, standoffish. Yeah, he's right there. Here I go there. way back, which is part of why I moved to Porsche to open ANG Construction. Well, Gust has this sister, Ginger, mm -hmm. and she's a once-in-a-lifetime beauty, a <gasps> truly stunning girl. There's only one problem: she doesn't go outside too often. 
What a shame, right? Yeah? Supposedly, she has a health condition. Yes? I'm not sure about the details. Gust gets a little weird when I bring it up, which is where you come in. I need you to track down this mysterious beauty and learn more about her. Boy. Once you learn more about her, come back and see me. I'll be waiting. Baby, do you have a crush? Albert, I knew me and you were good friends because... Um? Hey, Gus, you need an umbrella, boy. And what do I got on me? What would he like? Oh, this. Perfect. Looks like you spent some thought on this. Yes, of course I did, babes. What you mean? What do you mean? Love like a blue moon? He has a crush on Ginger. <gasps> Aww. Look, we're so close. It's like... Whoa. Girl. I know, me and G me and Ginger are associates, I believe. I think we are. <laughs> so yes, I can definitely talk to Ginger for you. That's so cute. Aw, love stories. I'm a, I'm a hopeless romantic. I love me a little love story. <laughs> okay, let's go into Gail's home because we're trespassing. We're trespassers. We do this. Um, okay. I... But so I don't really know. Where's she at? Oh, I can see a little bit of a room. <laughs> oh, hello there. You want to learn more about me? That's so kind of you. Okay, I low-key feel bad though because it's acting like I care, which I do care. I love Ginger. I think she's very sweet. It's just, uh, you know what? I do it's have fine. a health condition that makes it hard to go outside. That's okay. I've developed a few hobbies that I can do inside. Namely, I like to read and I like to craft little trinkets. I feel that education and creativity are beautiful things that are available to people under any light. Aww. Come to think of it, I've been looking for a book called Journey to the East. I know it's a classic, but it's so hard to find. The story sounds so dreamy, though. One day I'd like to go on a grand adventure like that. Aww. Ginger, you're so sweet. I'm so sorry, babes. So, wait. What are we right now with Gust? We're buddies. We're buddies. So that means, where's his room? Oh, <gasps> is this Gus's room? Oh my God, it is. It is, whoa. Wow, his designs really are good. Dang, okay, per. That's not creepy at all, don't even, don't even try. Don't even try, cause it's really not creepy. It said we had to be buddies with him, okay? So we're we're being buddies. That's all that it is. It's not weird. Okay, let's go back to Albert. No fall damage. We love that. There probably is, and I'm just like being stupid and reckless. <laughs> A reading girl, huh? That's good. I like him smart. Oh, come to think of it. I think you can get that book over at the round table, Django's restaurant. You might have to play a game or two, but that's no big deal when you're helping a friend like me, right? Absolutely. Well, hold on now, because the games in this in this game, funny enough, are actually hard. Is that Gust? Okay, that's Gust. Alright, let's check it out, Lord. I already tested out the games a little bit. Oh, it shut down. Oh. Well. Hey, summer is the best time for cold drinks and good food. I have to hear in spades. <laughs> Django. What am I supposed to do? All right, let's head over there. That should be, um, damn, what's her name? LOL, I can't remember. 
Um, hell, what's the, what's the girl name? I remember as soon as I get in here. Not me standing on the doorknob. <laughs> May. Ready for part two of my Make Portia Times Number One action plan? Girl, I, all I know is you better have money this time. Irwa and I have been drawing all the illustrations by hand so far, but we're both terrible at art. I even received a letter from Gust telling us to stop drawing. That jerk. For the next part of my plan, we need a camera. Ah, great! Cameras are so very rare. They only have a few in use at our Atara office. You'll need to talk with the research center about how to make one. It's always the research center. I was really hoping that we could go to, go to Atara or something like that. But maybe later. Not now, obviously, because the game don't like me. <laughs> okay, I actually have a few data discs on me, so I'm glad I don't have to run back home and get those. I hope I have enough, though. I think I have like 19, 13 a camera? on me. Oh. oh, ho, ho. You don't need to look too far. Oh, ho, ho. Our director Girl. has a working one. <laughs> what do you want? A camera? I have one. Can I have it or can I have... No, no can I have no, it? No, of course not. Girl... I am, you know how I said I wanted to become friends with everybody? That is the case for everyone except Merlin. Pretty please. You know what? I just thought of something. I can give the camera to you on one condition. What is it? What's that? We go on a social engagement. Why? Why? Do I have to? What? Why? She's been so rude to me this whole time, and now she's making me invite her out. Girl. Come on, Merlin. I'm not finna play oh. these games with you. Date? I have to take her on a date? It's like, do I have to? All right. Come on. Um, we gonna be at my workshop. This is, this is, this is crazy. Like, I'm actually... Arlo? What, what you doing in here? <laughs> LOL. Let's go ahead and get this done. I'm gonna just go ahead and cut to the date. Um. So what should we do today? Want to visit the round table? Sure. I'm so excited. The round table is under construction right now, so. But let's see if this date goes better than the one I had with Gust. <laughs> what are we doing? Huh? Oh, okay. The rum in here makes my mouth water. Do you want to order something? Sure. Um, ask about work, why not? What's it like directing the research center? Petra is a very smart student. Teaching her is well worth my time. Together we are discovering and analyzing new relics all the time. That's cool. Um, what do you think of the Porsche Research Center? Vega 5 has better research equipment, but I'm far more free to pursue my research here. We're gonna give her some meat. She said thanks. <laughs> um, what's your favorite food? I'm not sure why, but I've never liked fried rice. That's you didn't tell me about your favorite food. What is your favorite food? Okay, Merlin. I'm not finna. The meal is on me. What do you want to have? I don't really like the bowl of rice. I should order the bowl of rice. <laughs> um, let's get. I should get pumpkin steamed, steamed rice. I'm not gonna do her like that. We're gonna get Portia Hot Pot with spicy and sour potato, an apple pie, snowman ice cream, and we're gonna get apple juice and coffee. 
what a disappointment. I hope that you will order something better next time. Girl, you didn't even tell me what your favorite food was. Merlin, don't play with me. Don't play with me. Cause you I was at, I asked you twice. I that I went from 20 to 8. I'm so sick. I am so sick. I want to end the date. Is it over with? Why is it only 1022? Oh my god. I asked y'all, I asked her twice what her favorite food was. All she said was she didn't like rice. I'm so sick. I am so sick. What is this? Chit chat under the wishing tree? Sure. Like, I just want to be done. <laughs> I'm over it. I didn't, I don't like Merlin for a reason, y'all. Like, she was rude to me when we first met. I'm a little tired. Can we sit down for a while? Sure. rest on my lap absolutely not that's a waste of time i'd rather spend it researching then why are we here why are we why are we here y'all why are we here i had a great time with Shane. no so that's what a social engagement is like i'll have to contemplate my reaction and communicate a result to you later it says i can no longer date merlin girl good i don't want to date you no way weirdo you're weird What's something that she hates? I'm gonna give her a rock. What is this thing? Don't yeah. ever show it to me again. Yeah. Yeah. Wait for Merlin's reply? Girl, I think that is a good place to wrap up today's video. I want to thank y'all so much for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day, night, or evening. Bye.